Yo, this is Zist. In this video, I'm trying to get the Lyra Pawn class. And I say Lyra or Lyra differently almost every time I say it. I have no idea how to say this word. In any case, the Pawn class, I'm trying to get it to work with the gameplay ability system, gameplay cues, and gameplay tags, all of which are things that I think Epic probably meant for the Pawn to be able to do, but I guess they didn't have time to do it before they shipped, or who knows what. So I went through the A Lyra character to see how they did it there, and I copied a bunch of stuff there, and I reorganized some things that I didn't think they intentionally did the way that they did. But who knows? Maybe I'm just bad. As I go through this video, I'm going to show you, you know, some of the code that I did. Uh, I also have put this all up on a gist on GitHub, and so I will link that in case you want the actual source so that you can look for yourself. Any questions, any comments, let me know. All right, so looking through here, there are these uh, classes here that I had to modify. And this is base Lyra code and Lyra game. Mainly I'm just exposing these. In the pawn, I did also have to change the the access from private to protected for the my team ID variable. This is just exposed, exposed, exposed. So the only change other than exposing was in the pawn, which is changing the scope of my team ID to be protected rather than private. Looking in the code here, uh, in general here, I have this Zist Core Lyra game feature plugin, and my idea is that this is going to be reusable code that any project that I make based on Lyra will inherit. Kind of the difference between shooter core and shooter maps, you know, they put their core in here. So this is my core, and I have here really the only things that are of interest at the moment are this pawn, XCL pawn which is this class right here. Uh, all of this stuff, in my mind, should really be in the base Lyra pawn, but it's not. Um, in particular, this, they implemented most of the team-based stuff, but they just left this out. I guess it's just an oversight. So this I added, but then again, you know, pawn extension component. Uh, if we look in here, where's the pawn extension? Component. Yeah, if we look in here, it says, look, component used to add functionality to all, all pawns. However, they did not implement it in their pawn class. So, all right. So basically, I need to do that. So we create this here. Uh, this is the method that they left out related to teams. And then this stuff here is all just getting the pawn extension component working. Um, then we also have the ability system and tag implementation. Uh, so that's what the rest of the stuff is. Other than this, I did not add anything to this class. Uh, as you can see by the description here, really this is stuff that, that I expect that Epic would have put into a Lyra Pawn, and hopefully they will in the future. Um, to show how, oh, the one other thing that I changed here is this one. They, in a Lyra character, did not have initialized gameplay tags as being virtual, but it needs to be, so I made it virtual in mine. Uh, and the reason is that if we come over here into my, now this is my third person strategy player pawn, which derives from my what should be the Lyra pawn. And here we just have a primitive, we have a movement component, we have a Lyra hero component, which takes care of input mapping. But importantly, we have initialized gameplay tags here. And if we go down here, that is, all this does is it's calling the base class and then it's specifically setting the movement tag to be, I'm a flying pawn, which is that's, that's what my pawn is. There were some other things that 
were needed. For example, in the U plugin definition, you need to list all of these plugins to silence compiler warnings. And in the build CS, you need to list Lyra game as a public dependency, and you need to list all of this stuff as private dependencies. So there you go guys. Hopefully that was pretty easy to follow. Like I said, I will link all of this in the description. Um, there is a gist on GitHub where you can get the exact code. And if you have any questions, any comments, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.